The stabbing at the MoMA, this particular individual jumps the counter and stabs two of the employees. And these are all dangerous, unpredictable, scary people that we're seeing over and over again that just normal, everyday, unarmed, average citizens are dealing with. Gary Cabana, a 60-year-old homeless man, had a membership to the MoMA, the Museum of Modern Art, and he had his membership revoked because of some, what they called, disruptive or disturbing behavior. So his answer to that, you know, he showed up to attend a movie screening of bringing up baby, but they told him he wasn't gonna get up to see it, that his membership had been revoked. He stabs the people that were telling him he's no longer a member. The behavior doesn't stop there. He's able to calmly leave the museum, which is surrounded by police, by the way, at that time. He's able to just calmly walk out like he's one of the people trying to escape. Early the next morning, we set up a stakeout at the perpetrator's last known address. We just had the address, 255 West 43rd Street in the apartment number. So we went there, we found out it was a homeless shelter, and we were gonna wait for him to just basically walk up and we're gonna jump out and try to talk to him. There's no way you could ever figure out what some of these criminals are gonna do next. And that's what makes him so dangerous. And that's why when we were staking out his address, his last known address, I was not taking any chances. I knew exactly how unpredictable this guy was and that there was a chance he was gonna walk right up to us or walk right out in front of the building and we were gonna have to run up and talk to him. I was not looking forward to that prospect at all and I knew that that was a real prospect. Fortunately or unfortunately, we didn't have to worry about that. He was on a bus at that time heading toward Philadelphia. Then to compound the bizarre behavior that this guy exhibited, he was uploading video and texting and all kinds of social media statements while he was on the lam. Then he was answering our questions. We were like chatting with him through Instagram and he was actually answering our questions with bizarre, crazy answers. He was picked up the other day in Philadelphia under, you know, not surprisingly for this individual, strange circumstances. He apparently got a room in a Best Western in Philadelphia after taking a Greyhound bus from the Port Authority bus station. He got off the bus, got himself a room in a Best Western, and then proceeded to fill a garbage can with toilet paper and other paper products in his room and light them on fire. And he just basically walked away and went and started sleeping at a Greyhound bus station nearby. It just gets stranger and stranger when the police found him. He was sleeping on a bench. They woke him up. They asked him if he was Gary Cabana and he said yes. And they told him he was under arrest and he thanked them for keeping people safe. I appreciate you guys. I really, I really do. Like it. Best cops in the United States right here, buddy. You like to stay everybody. Man, read my Instagram. Where we are now is New York is putting in the paperwork for extradition, uh, trying to get him back here so that the New York Police Department can indict him on the, I'm assuming it's gonna be attempted murder charges, but those have yet to be pressed, so no word exactly on which charges he will face. So go ahead and hit the like and subscribe buttons if you wanna be kept up to date on all the stories we're covering for the New York Post.